Hey guys, I recently posted this picture on Reddit and it generated some instant interest about how I did it. Uh, so it's a vectorized pixel art of the Tear of the Tentacle PC game title. And uh, I'll be explaining this uh, process I came up with myself. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone else also came up with. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not a totally original idea. But if you look at the original vector file I created, you'll see there are some lines, uh, some small tiny hairlines around the letters. Now that's because every single part around here is made out of uh, tiny squares. Now, you might think that be, would be time consuming, but the way I do it, it's pretty fast. And I think it's faster than just drawing squares around here and trying to fill in the blanks and everything. So, uh, first of all, what you have to do is uh, find some underlying picture that will help you guide uh, your, your, uh, your vectorization. And the next thing you have to do is uh, create a doc. Well, first of all, you have to create the document, uh, which I made with uh, uh, aspect ratio of four by three with 800 by 600 millimeters. And then I uh, made a grid over this document uh, consisting of uh, grid lines, which are two by two millimeters. And that will be your basic pixel. So two by two millimeters. You can do this any way you want, as long as you can, uh, in the end, align your uh, grid you created with the pixel grid on your JPEG, uh, your, your JPEG document. Okay, so here we, here we see the uh, grid I created is actually aligned pretty well with the document down below. Now I did have to resize the JPEG to fit here, but that's just a bit fiddling around with the uh, X and Y axis and the whole size of the document. Now, once you create this, uh, the process itself is very straightforward. You just create a, uh, a two by two millimeter rectangle. Now I will be doing this in red color so you can see better what I'm doing. Okay. And we'll be doing the letter T because it's small and we can do it fast. Now uh, the you have to position your square on oh damn it okay so you have to position this correctly you just went off grid now you have to you have to uh, turn on the um, in the view you have to uh, turn on the snap to grid option and after you, after you do that it's just a simple thing of uh, holding down your alt key on your windows machine or the option key on mac and pressing the uh, arrow keys. So if I hold the Alt key and press up, I just made a copy down below and move the original up or made a new copy one pixel up. Now, if I do another copy and move it to the right, it's not positioned right, but I can, uh, I, I can uh, let go of the Alt key and just move it up. Now, during this, you can, you'll have to develop a bit of a muscle memory, but no, I did this pretty fast with, uh, I, I can do it like, I don't know, with this speed, ah, oh, damn it. Now, here I go, bragging about how fast I am and losing my count, okay. So, you, you, you can see, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward to create the outlining part of the pixel art you are drawing. Now, this whole pro, pro uh, probably don't need that one. Uh, the, this whole process took me about a day to get a hang of, uh, but once you get into the flow of the things, you can do it pretty fast. So, okay, now we have the outline of the whole letter we're using. Okay, I just have some, okay, let's see. Okay, so now we have uh, the letter T. If we turn off the underlying layers, you can see we have a nice little letter T. Now, the inner part can be easily created using the shape builder tool which was included in illustrator i don't know cs5 and newer so if you don't have a newer version you'll have to use the pathfinder tool which you can find under the window options okay so when you move the shape builder tool with the whole outline selected over the outline you'll see that you can have a plus sign in the center uh, over your mouse and if you click that you just created the inner part which you can now color in the correct color. Now we just have to recolor the outline into the black color and if we turn off the underlying layer you see we have a nice little letter T which we can group, create a copy, color black, uh, turn on the underlying layer again and position the shadow into the right position. Uh, moving it also one layer backwards, and that's it. Bob's your uncle. 